Good morning to all of you. Welcome to the session. Today's topic is degrees of comparison. Here you see DOC. Don't wonder what it is. The letters stand for degrees of comparison. This is also an important topic, but to understand this, you have to know something about adjectives and adverbs. Already you have learned, and with that knowledge, it becomes easy for you to learn degrees of comparison. At the outset, let us see the co what are the learning outcomes. Concepts, mind map, regular comparisons, easy. Irregular comparisons, very important, not easy. Rules, examples, exam approach. Now let us go to the concepts. Degrees of comparison. Adjectives and adverbs change the form to show the comparisons. Adjectives and adverbs change the form to show the comparisons. These are known as degrees of Comparison. What are these known as? These are known as degrees of comparison. They are three in number. They are three in number. First one, positive. Second one, comparative. Third one, superlative. Degrees of comparison, three in number. Positive, first one. Comparative, superlative. What is positive? Positive form is used when we talk about a quality of something or someone. Positive form is used when we talk about a quality of something or someone. He is a tall person. Here there is no comparison. Here there is no comparison. No comparison. We talk about the quality of a person or a thing. He is a tall person. It is a good book. She works well. Tall quality adjective, good quality adjective, well adverb. How does she work? Manner. She works well. Here, if you take all these talk about a quality of something or someone and there is no comparison. This form is known as positive form. This also positive, this also positive. The first one, positive form. Now let us go to the second one. Comparative form is used to express a higher quality, positive to express a quality and comparative form is used to express a higher quality. It is used when we compare two things or 
persons. We use the word than in the comparative form. What is a comparative form? Positive form is a basic form. It expresses a quality. It is used to express a quality of someone or something. What is comparative form? It is used to express a higher quality. It is used when we compare two things or two persons. Compare. So comparative form. And here what you have to remember, we use the word than in the comparative form. Already you have seen the example positive. He is a tall person. That is positive. And usually adjectives, adverbs, they have the three forms, degrees of comparison. Positive, comparative, superlative. Tall, taller, tallest. Good, better, best. So we'll take the same example. He is taller than his brother. Here we are comparing two persons, he and his brother. Because we are comparing two persons, comparative form. And what is the comparative form of tall? taller and one more thing you have to remember we have to use the word than he is taller than his brother this book is better than that book good better this is a good book good positive better comparative this book is better than that book. We are comparing this book and that book. Two things. Then we have to use comparative form and we should use the word than. This book is better than that book. Now we'll go to the third one. Superlative form. He is used to express the highest quality. Positive, only a quality. Comparative, higher quality. Superlative, the highest quality. It is used when we compare more than two persons or two things. No comparison, positive. When we compare two things or two persons, comparative. More than, when we compare more than two persons or more than two things, it is superlative. We use the definite article, the. We use the definite article, the, in the Superlative form. We use a definite article the in the superlative form. Example. I will use the same example. Tall, taller, tallest. He is the tallest boy in the class. In the class, so many students, more than two. So here we have to use the superlative form. Tall, taller, tallest. He is the tallest boy in the class. Here, tallest is a superlative. And you have to use a definite article, the. The tallest. This is the best book. You see a lot of books. And one particular book you are comparing, more than two. More than two books. Then you are supposed to use the superlative form, good, better, best. So this is the best book. Of all the books, this is the best, the best superlative form and the definite article, the. That is introduction. What is the topic? Degrees of comparison. 
adjectives and adverbs change the form to show the comparisons and these are known as degrees of comparison and they are three in number what are the three positive comparative superlative positive expresses a quality just a quality of someone or something there is no comparison comparative form is used when we compare two things or two persons and we use the word than superlative we use when we compare more than two persons or more than two things and in the superlative form we use the definite article the this is like the basics now let us go to the mind map doc means what degrees of comparison first you have to learn the concepts you should know what is positive where it is used what is comparative where it is used and what is superlative where it is used then you have to know learn a regular comparisons they are easy but irregular comparisons these are difficult important from the exam point of view irregular comparisons then you have to learn some important uh, rules again very important from the exam point of view so here concepts regular comparisons easy already school level you must have learned irregular comparisons very important and rules now let us go to regular comparisons past past pastest it could be an adjective it could be an adverb tall taller tallest hot hotter hottest here generally school uh, knowledge when it is a one syllable word past tall hot loud louder loudest one syllable word you use how do you change by using e r e s t if the word has only one syllable a uh, short tall hot loud you how do you change by adding e r for the comparative form e s t for the superlative form these are regular comparisons easy to handle already you must have learned but some words have more than one syllable then how do you change beautiful more beautiful most beautiful here beautiful there are three syllables beautiful more than one syllable then you cannot add e r e s t you have to use more most this also school knowledge you must have learnt already beautiful more beautiful most beautiful intelligent intelligent there are four syllables what is a comparative form more intelligent most intelligent more intelligent most intelligent no one is going to ask you about these these are easy to handle this class is as part of sridhar cc's online batch 2 to watch full video course log on to www.sridharcc.com/onlinecourse subjects covered in this batch are useful for all competitive examination which a graduate can write in india reasoning quantitative aptitude general english current affairs computer awareness and banking awareness we are going to cover all these subjects in two different levels basic level and advanced level basic level is useful for preliminary examination advanced level is useful for mains level the batch includes 450 plus hours of classroom teaching and 150 plus hours for topic wise test explanation medium of teaching 
classes and explanation completely in english medium pdf material will be provided in english medium topic wise test for each and every subject including each and every topic will be conducted and there are three packages available the major 3 months 6 months and then 12 months packages are available in 3 month structure you'll get 450 hours plus classroom teaching pdf copies topic wise test on all chapters monthly model test and explanation special live classes access for 3 months 3 months current affairs including pdf and student can watch all the above videos for n number of times apart from this every wednesday we will conduct preliminary examination in 3 months period you'll get 12 to 13 preliminary examinations followed by explanations and every second sunday and fourth sunday we will conduct mains examination in 3 months we can write six mains level exams in 6 months course you will get 450 plus hours teaching pdf copies topic wise test for all chapters monthly model test and explanation special live classes access for 6 months and 6 months current affairs including pdf copies and student can watch all the above for n number of times in 6 months you can write 24 to 26 preliminary examinations and 12 mains examinations in 12 months course special live classes access for 12 months will be there 12 months current affairs will be there and n number of times you can watch preliminary exams 48 to 52 exams you can write and there are 24 mains examination and ex each exam followed by explanation 450 hours plus teaching pdf copies along with pdf copies for 12 months course we will send printed material to your home if you have any queries please contact us on 9504433333 or mail us on online.sridhacc@gmail.com